Welcome back to the Rug Shops YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing one of our integrated LED taillights on our Honda Grom. For this kit, we will give you the integrated, it's a smoked out lens taillight. And then the one other thing that you will need when you're going to LED is going to be the LED flasher relay, which we will also show you how to install in this video. We're going to also note that we had taken the rear fender off for this one and did our fender illuminator kit and to do that you can go back to that video I'll put it in the description it's four M12 bolts that we'll be taking off the, off the fender inside there is the original harness clip that connects to the blinkers and for the LED light that goes over the license plate so those are all bullet head connectors so Felix can go ahead and disassemble those right now Make that five. After those are out, you have two more that are on the inside, one on each side of the light. Good wrist workout. Yeah, it's connected with the reflector too, so. That's a total of four bolts. OEM's over engineered anyway, right? After going through this, we originally had thought there was a plug at the end here. There is not. It's direct wired to the unit itself, so we didn't have to take the lens off. What you can do is you can just cut the wires at at least a reasonable place when it is mounted inside the fender bracket there, so that you at least still have some slack for running the tail light. You won't need much because it will be right when you do the fender eliminator. It is right underneath the, the seat. So we just found it's probably going to be easiest just to cut this and you could strip the wires and put a pin on it to connect to whatever tail light you have or the um, whatever license plate cover you have that has LED on it. So next we're going to go back over to the bike and we'll get started on the tail light. So next we're going to do is follow this blue wire that's coming out. It's going to go down to the frame there. Are you going to let me go ahead and remove the camera here to show you a better angle? It's hard to see it, but there's a little tab right down here. I'm not sure if the camera's picking it up or not. It's not, but if you use a little small flathead screwdriver pushing a tab, Boom. that's gonna slide right out. There you go. Camera angles there. There's a little push tab right there, and that's gonna get unplug the taillight itself. Run that back through. And then we will get to unbolting the tail light itself, which is two 10 millimeter nuts. Those two made it. 
Now he's unscrewing the two 10 mil nuts. And they have a little Those rubber bungs are going to keep them kind of secure, so you're just going to have to give it a little push like he's doing. Just like that. Your tail light is out. Tail light, you're going to run the wires. But first... First you can take off the... <laughs> you're so excited. The washers, I am excited. It's going to look so much better. Yeah. Slide the wires through the back of the bike. And then just like the factory one, the bolts are going to line up. You just push the tail light through. There it goes. Factory washer. the supplied washers you're going to notice that there's an m10 one and then an m8 washer and then a nylock so you're going to put the m10 first then the m8 and then you're going to follow through with the nylock after and tighten that up you may have because it has that rubber bung you may have to push on the back of the light a little bit just a little bit guys not too much and do the same thing with the opposing stud use the 12 mil 13, 13. that up on the nylock. You're not going to have to go super tight. Nope. You're going to so just that little bit of threads catches on that little nylock end there. And she's solid. So next you're going to take the clip that comes with the tail light, run it underneath that factory bracket, and then you're going to plug it into the existing one that's kind of tucked in oh, it's tight. from the factory harness there. You're going to line up the plug. Push it in, you hear the click. Maybe it's locked in place, and then you can actually secure it back on that factory bracket that we showed you beforehand. And then tuck those wires back underneath. The next step is from your factory harness. You did plug it in already. Sorry about that, folks. We have those uh, two wires that are going to go for the blinkers. And the blinkers on the harness are orange and blue. Mm -hmm. For the tail light, they're both yellow. So, what we're going to do to make sure we know which is which is we're going to turn the ignition just so that there's power and we'll go to the back. It's nice to see that the ignition is on, the brake light or the running light is on. So what Felix is going to do is he's going to tap the light to the positive terminal and you can see which one is going to be which. So he knows now which one's the left, which one's the right. Gonna plug the right one that he found into the blue. So blue is gonna be your right signal indicator. And then he's going to plug the one the other one that he put aside into the orange. And that's gonna be his left signal indicator. And then just to test it, we can go ahead and put it on the actual control switch. So this should be left, and that should be right, which you can see it is. The reason why it's staying is because we have not put the um, flasher relay in. And then just to test the brake light, we're going to go ahead and press that. You can see it's nice and bright. So Felix is going to go ahead and tuck away the wires, and we will get to the flasher relay. Okay, so now for the front, there are four M5 bolts. So you can go ahead and loosen that. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So 
So now he's loosening up the bottom ones. He took the top two out. And then he'll be able to pull the headlight assembly off. So right there is your OEM flasher. You see it has like a little L clip to it. You can go ahead and unplug that. Your flasher has a little rubber slide on it that unfortunately may we, we might be able to use but I don't think so. So we were actually able to get the little rubber holder off of the factory one and slide it onto the orange flasher. And then what you'll do is you're gonna line it up, plug it right in. So one thing that you're gonna notice before he puts it away is if you I'll back up the camera here. The, I'll get the blinker into frame. So if I put the blinker on, you can see right now the flash is pretty slow. If you have a small Phillips head, you can actually adjust that. I'll get this flasher in the frame here. Get down. So you can actually adjust it by putting running it through and you can turn it to the right or to the left and it's going to make it quicker or slower. So you can see he's speeding it up. So this relay is adjustable. We're just going to get to our settings which is right there. Just a little cool trick to show you guys. So he's going to go ahead and put it back in the factory location. It has a little clip that it slides onto. And just like that, we're going to go ahead and button this back up, put the four bolts in. And you now have a running, functioning, integrated tail light and your flasher relay. Stay tuned for the next video. We will be doing the LED license plate frame install. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video.